हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पार्ट 18 ऑफ एडवांस ईकॉम सीरीज इन लेवल 7 सो वी विल कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन द सेक्शंस मॉड्यूल इन लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोस वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू क्रिएट द सेक्शंस टेबल आफ्टर दैट वी एबल टू ऐड द डाटा विद द हेल्प ऑफ सीडिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट वी एबल टू व्यू सेक्शंस इन एडमिन पैनल and now in this video we are going to work on the active inactive status for our sections okay with the help of ajax we are going to make the status active or inactive okay we will use jquery and ajax for this okay so let's start working on this video okay so first of all we are going to open this blade file section.blade.php file okay so let's open sections blade file Okay, so here uh, I am going to check that active inactive status we are showing here. Uh, we will add the link uh, here and uh, we'll pass the status to jQuery and from that we will pass to Ajax. Okay, and from Ajax we are going to pass uh, to our function and we'll update that. Okay, so we will do that step by step. Okay, first of all I will add the link here. Okay, so i will add a href link here uh, like this active and inactive okay so first of all i will do for active and see uh, here we are not going to do with the uh, link okay so we will disable the link like this javascript uh, y0 okay like this okay so it will come here and we will check once that it must be appear mm, in link form okay but we, we no need to click means click will not work see here it will not work otherwise it will refresh the page okay we stop it by uh, javascript void okay so here i am going to pass here few of the things see i will give class uh, to this uh, uh, link as well so that uh, uh, we can uh, uh, in jquery we can uh, make click event uh, with this class okay so i am going to add the class here update uh, section status class like this okay and along with class i am also going to give id and section id okay in id i will give here uh, the id uh, see uh, here i am going to give uh, not exactly the id here i will mention section hyphen then i will mention the id and section id is coming here so we will just copy and paste this one okay one id i am going to give and one is the section id okay both will come into play i will show that how uh, they will come into play okay and here i am going to mention this section id this one again okay both id and section id we are going to give and both we are going to mention section id but here in id we will mention like section hyphen id okay so like this we will do for inactive status as well i am going to copy this one in an inactive status and we'll do it the same form okay so in both the cases section id will go in both the case cases we have added, added the class okay but here the difference is the value here is the active and here it is inactive okay so i am going to refresh once again we'll check out see here it is seems to be fine uh, okay i am going to make the status uh, update from here from i'm going to update the status to zero like this okay then i'm going to refresh here now you can see the status is inactive okay so uh, link appears to be fine okay so now uh, now we will add the jquery okay so i will open the admin script okay this is the jquery okay so here i am uh, this is our admin script file here i am going to add uh, the uh, status okay with that event i am going to pass here okay so i will do that see here i am going to pass uh, update section status that class 
okay and clip function okay in clip function uh, like this okay so here uh, one status is coming we are going to get this status here like this uh, status is coming in our test okay and one we are getting section id and section id uh, we are getting in our section id okay and we can get it like this one section id okay so now i am going to alert these both will check that whether both are coming here or not after that we will continue with ajax okay section id like this i am going to check here so i am going to click here uh, we'll check active is coming fine and id is also coming fine section id is also coming fine here see you can check active and id2 that is fine and here inactive and id3 that is also fine okay so it is coming fine so now we can add the ajax here dollar ajax okay so in ajax we need to pass here a uh, type as post and we will pass here url the url we will give it okay uh, we will give it the url like uh, admin update section status we will give it like this this route we are going to create in our next step okay and data we already know that we are passing status as well as section id okay these two things we are passing and in success function our response will come uh, we will get the response here okay and in error we are going to get the error okay here alert error if any error will come then we are going to uh, error that oh, sorry okay so now uh, see now uh, see uh, it will go to this route so uh, this route we will create now uh, in our web.php file uh, we are going to create this route okay so uh, this route we are going to create i al already having some of the routes uh, this one uh, i am going to move i am going to create once again okay so see here i am going to create its route and that route uh, we are going to create under here okay route and here i'm going to create post post route we're going to create update update section status controller then update section status okay like this okay okay fine now uh, finally we need to put this status in section controller we open section controller okay here I'm going to update public function update section status okay and here maybe just okay like this and here uh, uh, we are going to get uh, the result in ajax okay dollar request uh, ajax okay so we are going to check here dollar data request uh, and ok 
okay and here we are going to print the data both uh, section id and uh, status will come up here so i'm going to check here i will open the console here okay So I will click on any of the status active and here is one and then sorry I need to click this one network then now I am going to click once again active then one and then I think we need save the files file save all and once again I am going to refresh this one okay. Now I'm going to click once again. Active. See error has come. Okay, so 419 error has come. CSRF token. So uh, see there are two ways. Either we can add it script uh, in our uh, jQuery. We can add uh, to uh, of CS CSRF token we can add otherwise uh, we can simply add its route here okay uh, to so that such error will not come okay this update section status route we can simply mention here and admin like this okay we can simply mention here update section status then this uh, issue will not come uh, to disable this CSRF token, okay, we can do this thing, okay. Otherwise, you can add this script like we have done in basic ecom series. You can do that thing as well. You can pass CSRF token as well, okay. So now we are going to do one uh, once again, and here you can check both status and section ID is coming fine, okay. So now we can. Uh, do our query here okay uh, so uh, we will add like if the section id if the section status sorry status is active then next time it must be inactive and for inactive the status must be zero and for active status must be one okay we will check here uh, see here uh, status one means active status zero means inactive okay and if we are sending if we are going to convert it to inactive then next time status must be uh, 0 from 1 okay so if in case here active is coming then we are going to make it inactive it means that we uh, that status future status must be 0 and if we are going to make it like uh, inactive from uh, from inactive to active then this status must be 1 then we will show here 1 okay so so for that why and i'm going to check the status see if status is active if status is active then uh, i'm going to give here zero okay if status is active if status is inactive you can give else and i will go to one give it one like this okay so after that we are going to save this status in section table section where id is we are already sending that uh, section id section id here okay and we are going to update the status here and status we are already passing the status dollar status like this okay so after this uh see now after this we are going to return the response uh, to our ajax okay and for that we are going to do give like the return response uh, like this to uh, json in json we are going to send the response and we are going to send like this like uh, both status uh, we are going to send here status as well as section id okay both we are going to send to our ajax okay and section id 
would, we are going to return both in JSON the, uh, status as well as uh, section ID that we are getting here. Okay. So here uh, our status is uh, going to be like if active then status is going to be zero. Zero we are returning and section ID we are already getting and that we are returning back to our uh, form. Okay. See here now uh, we can alert here. Okay. And now see we can alert that what status and what section ID is coming here uh, so that we can update uh, there as well okay uh, response here uh, is we will check status response as well as we are going to check here section id response okay section ID, okay so there are many ways to do it okay so now we are going to check once again and we will also check in our table that the section uh, that status is updating or not so I'm going to check. I'm going to click on active, and now the status is inactive. Uh, we are going to convert it to inactive, and inactive status is zero. You know, so I will just hit OK, and uh, and here uh, now I'm going to check here. Uh, see, uh, fine. Uh, see status zero and section ID is one. That is fine see uh, its status must be now inactive see here it must be zero see zero has come up here and if you will refresh you can see that it is inactive here but we uh, also need to show here with the help of ajax okay we also need to show here on at real time okay so for that uh, we are going to uh, there uh, also update we are going to update there as well see if uh, we are going to add if response uh, status is zero is coming as zero uh, then uh, we are going to uh, show uh, uh, there as inactive okay so for that uh, see uh, now uh, we have two things we can have a section id here as well and we can have section id here as well okay so we can take the section ID and in section ID we can take and and there uh, we have given that uh, section ID ID you can see that we have already given there uh, so we will take help of this one for converting its status to inactive at real time okay so uh, this one we can that's why we have taken this one okay so we will give it like this uh, first this section is coming okay and uh, uh, that id is already we are having the id there as well at both places we can take this section id uh, that we are getting section id this this one or we can also take this one any section id we can take both are same okay so uh, section this section id and we are going to update the html uh, for this one this html uh, we are going to add this html okay there we are going to add this html not uh, exactly all but some part of the html okay and then uh, see section id and href is not required so we can remove this one okay sorry href is required see section id and id is not required here so we can remove these two things okay okay and now see here uh, update here we will need to insert single here also like this then active uh, see in case of zero it must be inactive so we will show here inactive okay and now else if we will show it here else if status is one then the same we are going to add it again as well okay now 
will be that is there that here set it will be active okay fine now we are going to check uh, that it is working fine or not okay see i am going to convert its status to active it is coming as active okay so i can simply remove all this is not required now and now we can simply try make it a and active and inactive okay see now i click on see inactive uh, come up see inactive all three are inactive see active how fast it is working okay you can make it inactive or active at real time and uh, it is also working like all three are active you, we are going to check uh, here in our table uh, see here all three are active okay if you are going to make it inactive like first two are inactive then third one is active then you can check here in your uh, table see first two are inactive then active okay so it is working very much fine okay you can also do this so number of steps we have taken simple steps we have taken uh, see uh, we have just uh, added the ids and uh, and all okay and add the script for this one and we convert here uh, in response we convert here and we have converted uh, here in query as well we have uh, updated the status in query and after that we uh, we get the response and uh, and done there in jquery as well okay so that we can uh, update there as well okay so like this you can do and uh, one more thing like it will end the section module we are going to add this module here as well in admin sidebar okay so one last thing we are going to do now in admin sidebar we will just add the section module in the same way like we have added uh, for uh, this uh, settings uh, okay and we are going to name uh, this this sections module uh, i'm going to name it like catalogs okay we are going to give it catalogs after that sections will come uh, that uh, categories will come products will come everything will come there under catalogs okay so i am going to give this one catalogs and uh, i am going to copy this one complete uh, I'm going to copy and we are going to make changes in that one. See, I'm going to copy this one and we'll paste. We are already having this code. So this one is for catalogs. We can also name it like here. Uh, like this. Okay. And here and here we can give settings here as well so that it will clear to us like this okay so here catalogs i am going to give here uh, it will come like if sections are coming if categories are coming if products are coming then we are going to show this one okay we will just give section and categories for now okay then here i'm going to mention catalogs okay here uh, see here sections will come sections and here also section will come up okay and here we will show sections okay and here uh, categories will come up and here categories once again here okay here and it is selecting section because section is already there we have given their sections see here uh, see categories does not exist right now okay so if we will select some other thing then it will select those settings and update admin details and if you will select section then it is going to select catalogs as well as sections okay so uh, so this one is the end of section in next video we are going to start working on the categories we will make the categories table with the help of migration then we will add the data 
uh, with the help of seeding. After that, we will show here the categories panel. After that, we are going to work on the add edit category. So many things we are going to do in the next videos. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Have a nice time. Goodbye.